Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm gonna show you how to download and install 3D skin layers for Minecraft Java version 1.21.5. So let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you need them. But all you wanna do here is go to your search bar and search up mod print like so and just enter. You should see modern.com here as a website. All you want to do is click on modern here and you should be on the modern homepage. From there, all you want to do is go to the top of the website to discover content and you want to go down to mods. Now, all you want to do is go on search mods and you want to type in 3D skin layers. Once you did this, you should see 3D skin layers here. Just click the name and this will bring you to the 3D skin layers homepage on modern and all you want to do here is go to the versions tab. So, just click versions and from there you want to go to game versions and you want to go to 1.21.5. From there we were using the fabric option so as we're going to be using fabric all you want to do is click the green download button for fabric and from there all you want to do is click the version name and if you scroll down it will tell you that there is one dependency which is fabric api. So once you have downloaded the fabric version of 3D skin layers go to the version name Go to dependencies, click on what we need, so, which is Fabric API, click it. From there we do the same thing, so we have to go to versions, game versions in 1.21.5, and from there just click the latest release for that using the green download button. And you're done with modern. Now all you want to do is go to a new tab, and you want to go ahead and search up Fabric Minecraft, like so, to run mods on Minecraft of course. So we'll just do enter. From there you'll see fabricmc.net here, just click on the link and this will be the homepage for Fabric. Here all you want to do is click the blue download button and you want to click the blue download for Windows button here. From there you will have Fabric Installer, Fabric API and 3D Skin Layers. So all you want to do here is just go ahead and close your web browser and you want to open up your file explorer to access your downloads folder. From there all you want to do is double click Fabric Installer. And you'll see that we have Fabric Installer here for the Minecraft version 1.21.5. So all you want to do here is just do install, OK, and close. And from there, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher and we'll be able to add free scan layers and the Fabric API to the mods folder. So here we have Fabric Loader, all good. And that means you can go to the top of the launcher to installations. From there, you can hover over Fabric Loader and go to the folder icon. Now all you want to do is go to the mods folder here, double click it, it should be empty and all you want to do here is go to your downloads folder. Now all you want to do is double select and copy the fabric API and skin layers and you want to go back to your previous folder using the top left arrow and you want to click paste. Basically what you want is copy paste fabric API and skin layers to .minecraft mods folder. Okay, once you have this layout here, all you want to do is go to your Minecraft launcher. You want to go to play, make sure Fabric Loader is selected, and click play. And you'll be all done. So we'll be able to go to a world and test out 3D skin layers. Okay, so once we have Minecraft here, all you want to do is go to a single player world, a server, or a realm. I'll just go to a single player world here and here we'll be able to test out our 3d skin layers so outside of this you won't see much changes except if you have another player and we have another other player here we'll just do f5 and you'll see that we have 3d skin layers again it's really complicated to see as yourself but you can indeed see that you do have 3d skin layers as you can see you can see that each block of the hair is connected instead of floating uh, over the player but it will be easier for you to see if you have another player to see it but it does make your own character look a bit cleaner as well especially if you have like something like shaders or something so yeah that is how we download and install 3d skin layers for minecraft java 1.21.5 so if you liked this video make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one bye